Hello church! Um, I know it's been a few weeks since I've posted a video and apologies for that. Um, I think I was talking about the Holy Spirit and I didn't rely on him enough <laughs> um, and I failed to be inspired for some videos so I, I've had a gap and I'm coming back now um, with the first of a, a random series. I don't have a plan for what's to come. I'm going to hope that the Holy Spirit will inspire me as I go. Um, but I've had a fantastic conversation today with my grandfather, who I know I talk about a lot. And I just wanted to share what he said to me with you because I found it incredibly encouraging. And I hope that it's something that will be encouraging to you too. Um, I was talking to him about the difficulties of, um, as a Christian, being transformed and seeing all of the areas of our lives um, actually change and become closer to God. and. And how disappointing it can feel when we forget and we, we fall away from, from doing those things that we long to do for God. And, and how easy it can be to forget and um, to start to live a life where God is not first, where he is not our priority. And my grandfather pointed me to Hebrews chapter 11, which is a very famous chapter um, in Hebrews. It's the one that goes through a lot of the Old Testament characters. And it talks about the faith of these Old Testament characters. By faith Abraham, by faith Jacob. And it's by faith that each of these people have, have done the incredible things that we read about in the Old Testament. And my grandfather said to me, you know, their faith comes from God. And the reason that they're able to live this life of faith is that they spend more time in company with God than they do in company with other people. And that struck me because I... I do like to listen to other people's opinions and I do like to spend a lot of time with others and um, and I wonder how much of my life is more influenced by the opinions of the people around me than it is by God's opinion. I wonder how much of my life I really am spending together with God and including him and making space for him to be in my life because if he is there then then the criticisms of our work or the, the things that might try and pull us away from living a life that is godly, they're going to have a lot less sway. Those opinions are going to be negligible if the first person, the primary person in our life is God. Because his, his opinions in our life, his, his love for us and for the world around will be so much more important. So I have been um, encouraged <laughs> uh, to try and spend more time um, with God from, from first thing in the morning to last thing at night and to try and include him in more of my life. So I wanted to share that with you and I hope that that's an encouragement to you as well. Um, and I do strongly <laughs> um, recommend reading Hebrews chapter 11 because it is an incredibly inspiring book about flawed people who listened to God and, and saw lives transformed by him and saw the world transformed by him. So I'll pray for us um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll end the video there. Lord, I thank you that you gift us with faith. I thank you that you gift us with a relationship with you. And I thank you for these stories of other people who've had that journey with you, Lord, who have had a relationship with you and who have seen their lives transformed. And I pray for myself and for anybody else um, praying along with me on this video that we would make space in our lives for you that we would remember to spend quality time with you, Lord, and to prioritise that in our lives. And I pray that that would be an influence, a transformative influence, Lord, that we would see those areas in our lives that maybe don't always honour you, that they would become more honouring to you. That our lives would become ones that really witness your love for ourselves and for the people in our lives and, and for the world around us. Help us to keep encouraging each other and supporting each other to grow closer to you. Amen. Thank you for joining me again. Um, and yes, I hope I will see you again soon. Bye.